Hey guys, just about to start round two here. We won round one. Um, hopefully we can win round two as well. Lost the die roll. Hmm. Not the most amazing hand. We don't have any red. We're on the draw. I think I'm probably going to mulligan. Um, yeah. That's better. I'm glad I did it. Okay, that's interesting to see in a modern tournament. Uh, we're going to play our Crypt and lead with Diagraph Ghoul. I don't know how many Scry lands I've seen. Okay, Faithless Looting. This could be the Storm deck. And we'll know better once he discards, I think. Good chance that it's the Storm deck, though. Oh, no, it's the Goryeo's Vengeance deck. I forgot about that deck. I have a good sideboard for it. Um, he's already got... He discarded a Goryeo's Vengeance, which to me means he probably has another one in his hand. So that's not great news. It means he'll get Borg most back next turn. He gets to reveal the top three cards of his library and put all lands in, and then he can discard however many lands he wants to do three at a time to us. So it's pretty brutal. Um, we're going to swing. Yeah, he got a really good hand, clearly. Um, that's generally what discarding uh, <laughs> Agorio's Vengeance means to me, anyway. Um, Game two, we're going to side in our Rakdos Charms and our Duresses. Uh, we could side in Slaughter Games, too. Maybe harder to find space. But we can try. It's got to have Goryeo's Vengeance, right? I mean, why else would you discard a Goryeo's Vengeance? Knight's Whisper, okay. Maybe he doesn't have it yet. Seems a little strange, though. Um, I guess we're just going to try to kill him before he can do what he wants to do. It's our best bet, anyway. So we'll swing for four here. Um, play this, and I think we want to play our messenger first. Yeah, we'll play the messenger first. Put him at nine. He probably has a nourishing shoal in his hand, and he can gain a bunch of life. What he may be waiting for is a gristle brand, I guess. Uh, gristle brand plus Bavorigmos is better. Now a Tormenting Voice. Still not a Gristle Brand or a, uh, what you call it, in his live graveyard. So we can try to win here. Um, it's hard to know what to do. I mean, I can try to swing and then just try to win with Timurat's ability. I can play Death Baron and make it lethal. I think think I'd rather swing and see what happens and then potentially use Timurat's ability. Um, so I'm going to play out another land. And we'll swing. If he takes it, we win. Okay, Manamorphose. I think we... Well, let's see what he's going to do. He could still Goryeo's Vengeance his Borborigmos into play. Just to block. And Yeah, that looks like it's what he's doing. He can also probably kill a bunch of our creatures if he wants to. See how what he does here. 
Okay, so we discarded one land to take him out first, which is smart. Okay, I'm trying to decide, because he's going to get exiled anyway, right? Yeah. I'm trying to decide if I want to get Timurid back. Because I can. No, I don't think I'm going to. I can still use his sacrifice ability from the graveyard anyway, so... This way I can just play out another messenger. I wish I had one more land in play. Um, so yeah, we will play a second messenger. Put him at two. He may have Nourishing Shoal, as I said before, which will gain him a bunch of life and be a big, -ish, big problem for us. Um, right now he doesn't have any more legendaries in his graveyard. That could be about to change. Yeah, we won. Good. We just aggroed him out. Kept him. Just had too quick of a hand. That was a very good hand, um, as I'm sure you noted. Um, all right. So we definitely want Duress. Take out our higher part of our curve. Um, we want at least two Duresses, and we definitely want our Rakdos Charms. Dreadbore is pretty bad against him. You might imagine. So we don't want that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I only want the charms. But the rest can get rid of Nourishing Shoal or at least make him cast it when he doesn't want to. Uh, like, you know, if he doesn't have a green card to exile. And the life gain against us will be really good. So I think we want to get around that. He's probably going to side in Anger of the Gods or something like it. Um... Maybe we just want three charms and two duresses. And then we need to cut something. Um, Bolt's not as good against him as it is against most people, actually. The burn can just help us win faster, but it can't kill anything he has. So actually, let's put in the third duress. Yeah, let's do that. So we won game one. On to game two. Well, we got the charm. Slow hand otherwise, but one that can, I think, do deal pretty well with him. So we're going to keep. Be nice to draw. Like, if we could just draw, like, all creatures, I'd be pretty happy. Pretty happy. Hey, <laughs> that was a pretty lucky draw, gotta say. We're just going to swing in. He may have Anger of the Gods now, um, but I think I'm going to risk it anyway and play a Timurat. We have another one in our hand. Our Gravecrawler is already going to be doomed. And Timurat can actually, like if he lets us untap, Timurat can save at least Gravecrawler from Anger of the Gods. So, doesn't look like Anger of the Gods. He doesn't have any card draw either. Although he may be trying to bluff me. Like it's really tempting to drop this Cemetery Reaper and swing for six. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I feel like we can slow him down enough with our plan. Although he may have threw the breach in his hand. Threw the breach cost five, I think. I'm going to check that real quick, though. Because I don't want to not have Terminate ready. If he threw the breaches. 
Yeah, it costs five. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay, so Reaper. Swing for six. And now I think for the rest of the game, after we untap, we're just going to leave mana up for Terminate and Rakdos Charm. He may have Anger of the Gods also, like I said, um, and just which would be really bad right now, but... But if we can untap, we can at least sort of limit what Anger of the Gods can do to us because we can sack our Gravecrawler to Timurad in response. I mean, we've done enough damage that even if he plays Gristlebrand right now, he'd have to swing with it first and we can terminate it before he can swing with it. See, so Spirit Guide. Oh, I forgot about that. So he's going to throw the Breach and play Gristlebrand. Damn. Should have been thinking about Simeon Spirit Guide. Oh no, this guy. Yeah, that's bad. Bad news. We're just going to take 15. <laughs> does it technically die? Yeah, it does. Damn, through the breach. Why you got to be like that? Why can't you exile it? Yeah, that's rough. Wish we'd been prepared. Um, we w Even if we were prepared, it wouldn't have saved us, though. So. Okay, so. What do we need to do here? These guys all have trample. I'm not sure we have any way. We can terminate two of them. Hmm. Terminate two of them. I can sack a couple guys, put them at nine. The grave crawler can't even block, so we're definitely yeah. Um, I don't think we have any way we can win this one. I mean, the only way we could is if he took eight right here because he was afraid of a trick and then we could Rakdos charm him. But he knows we have Timurat, so he wouldn't do that anyway. But it's worth a shot. Well, I'm just going to swing with two of them. And then I'll terminate two blockers. And then, yeah, so let's see what happens. Hmm. Yeah. I did that just in the event that he would take the damage there, um, but he didn't. So here, if he doesn't have another trick, we've got a pretty okay chance. Um, not a great one, though. <laughs> I mean, not another. Uh, if he doesn't have a way to like play out another World Spine Worm or something like it. Lightning Axe, yeah, that wins in the game. All right, on to game three. Where was duress, you know? We put three in, didn't we? If I didn't, now I really want three. Yeah, we do have three in. We just didn't see it. Okay, game three. I feel like if we can get duress, we're going to be in really good shape. Rakdos Charm ended up not mattering at all, uh, unfortunately. Uh we would like to play first. 
It's a good hand. Still no duress, but it's a good hand. It's had that turn one every game. draw our third land uh, <laughs> soon so we can get our cemetery reaper out there and up his clock by a lot um, I'm just gonna play the ghoul because in the event that we draw our third land next turn we'll play our reaper anyway and if we don't we can play the crusader so I'm hoping he tries to go for more of a reanimation strategy this time around and it looks like that's possible Yeah, Gristle Brand's in there. So it was a second Faithless Looting. Um, we can Rakdos Charm in response to Goryeo's Vengeance. And yeah, now I kind of wish I'd played the Stromgold Crusader, because, yeah, I didn't think about that. Then I would be able to play a Diagraph Pool this turn and still keep mana up for Rakdos Charm, but... We can go to the end and just keep man up for if he tries to vengeance. It's basically our plan for the rest of the game. Ooh, pyroclasm. That does suck. I think because of that, I'm just going to vengeance. I mean, Rakdos Charm now. Got hit a Faithless Looting and one of his Gristle Brands, so seems all right. Um, I'm going to play Crusader. And we're going to play Gravecrawler. Hope he doesn't have Pyroclasm and Ender Turn. Another Pyroclasm and Ender Turn. Well, that's encouraging. Could be a trick <laughs> to draw out more cards from us. Um, but if it's a trick... I'm just going to play into it. So we've got lethal on the table if he doesn't have some way to deal with our dudes. All right. That's a little scary. A lot scary, even. Didn't keep man up for terminate. Um, may have been a mistake. So if he discards a Gristle Brand and plays a land, that would be pretty bad news. He didn't. Okay. Interesting. Should be our game then. We may have Lightning Bolt, I guess. Ah, that too. He'll nourish. Just 
which is pretty annoying for us. Um, maybe I should have pumped my guy one. Okay, so 368. Uh, I play him out there, 12 on the table. I can hit him for 14, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to hold on to him as an insurance policy from another pyroclasm. Um, and we have Terminate. And he doesn't have through the breach mana. It's not even close. He has mana for Gorio's Vengeance. And he just, no, he played, no. He must have discarded one, which means he has has one but he doesn't have a legend in his graveyard right now and if he puts one in we're gonna make sure we're gonna probably should stop swinging with our cemetery reaper so we can exile whatever he discards and in the meantime we can exile our own diagraph ghoul and make zombies so he's nourishing shoaling again and desperate ritualing I mean, he has the mana for Gristlebrand to <clears throat> freaking Nourishing Shoal, man. Our deck doesn't like that. He's used two of them. And he's exiled one of his World Spine Worms and this giant thing. To, that's what really saved him. Good, he didn't have anything to do with his mana. Now that we have that, okay, so we're going to, just to be careful, I think we're just going to swing like this. So that if he discards a creature, we can, um, Exile it from his graveyard. And at the end of... If he doesn't discard a creature, we'll just... Um, get our Diagraph... Exile our Diagraph Ghoul and swing for a bunch. Damn, that's not good. I do have Terminate this time, at least. Okay, that's less scary. So next turn we'll swing at him for 12. Probably going to continue to hold on to a zombie in my hand for Pyroclasm Fear. Um, he discarded. Did he discard a Pyroclasm? He must have another one in his hand, so it's even a bit better idea not to. So, we're still going to do this, though. What did he discard? Gristlebrand. Damn. Well played, my friend. No Rakdos Charm. We do have Terminate at least. He's only got one card left in his hand, but it could be Gorio's Vengeance. And if he plays Scorio's Vengeance and gets back Gristlebrand, he'll gain like a million life. Uh, well, we'll kill it before he can gain too much life, but... We're going to pump him by one. Okay. 
see if it's Vengeance. He'll get to draw a bunch of cards no matter what he does. Um, okay, it is Vengeance. We'll terminate. He's going to draw his cards, but if he doesn't draw a way to win, I feel pretty good. Well, obviously I feel pretty good. He's tapped out. He can only play one land this turn. There's his land. Well, that's not a good sign. He could have Simeon Spirit Guide into... Yeah, there's the spirit guide. There's a tormenting voice. Okay, we won. All right, we're 2-0. -oh. That was a much better competitive match. Um, our sideboard ended up saving us in one game. Um, and our cemetery reaper ended up being really good in the other game. Um, so we're 2-0. -oh. We need to win two of our next three, and we'll get an invite uh, to the Modern Festival Finals with our budget deck. Um, hopefully that can happen for us. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And actually, I'm not ready to pause yet, but now I am. So anyway, as I said, uh, see you for round three.